Hey everyone, Kevin here. I wanted to comment on a new proposed plan or idea to essentially get a $5,000 stimulus check now, but you're basically borrowing that money from your social security retirement benefits in the future. And then you would basically pay that money you borrow back by taking social security, say two months later or three months later or whatever to pay back the money you borrowed now, plus some really cheap government interest rate. It's an interesting idea. It's a plan that was floated. It's actually a plan called the Eagle Plan. It's a plan that Jared Kushner has forwarded to other members of the White House. It's a plan that was written by economists and scholars who were like, hey, here's an idea to give people money when they need it. And it has led to some debate in the community about, oh, could this actually happen? Is this a good idea? Now, the first thing that I, of course, do, which I recommend you do as well, is think, well, wait a minute, that $5,000 is worth more than $5,000 because according to this money chimp calculator here, money has a time value. That is, it should be worth more in the future. And if let's say I don't retire until I'm 67 years old and I don't take social security benefits until I'm 67, but I got a $5,000 advance now, well, golly, I could invest that for 39 years, which means I could throw it into Bitcoin or I could hold old Tesla, or I could do a whole lot of bunch of things. I could buy an index fund. And if I reasonably thought I was going to make 7% on my money, that $5,000 would turn into almost $70,000 in the future. Or I could just buy a new iPad and a beach cruiser and call it today. And who cares what happens in 39 years from now? Well, this proposal has certainly turned a lot of heads and created a lot of discussion. And I wanted to talk a little bit about the reality of, is this actually going to happen? Does it even stand a chance? And I also somewhat want to know your opinion. Now, I first saw a mention of this about a week ago, and initially it seemed like this wasn't going to be a plan that had any legs. And I don't want to share ideas with you that I don't even think have a chance at happening. I want to give you realistic insights. Well, Forbes is running this article suggesting that this $5,000 proposal seems very likely. In fact, let's go ahead and look at some of the things they're saying, which of course I'll be linking their article down below, but take a look at some of their quotes here. The Washington Post reported that senior economic officials at the White House are exploring a polarizing proposal by conservative scholars, blah, 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 basically the Eagle plan. And they say, the two describe how individuals who opted to receive the loan would have the balance carried forward at a specified and favorable governmental interest rate or government interest rate until the time they choose to claim social security. And in other parts of the article, they explain that you could get $5,000 as a check, potentially even as much as $10,000 advanced to you, basically two $5,000 checks potentially. And then you would repay that out of the very first social security checks that you would get after which their full social security check would be restored. And then under the heading, the Forbes article says, why is the White House interested in this plan? And they say, hey, there's currently $38 trillion available for in the social security fund so far that hasn't yet been given to households. So, you know, why not give people the opportunity to take some money against that and then just say they'll pay it back in the future? I mean, initially it kind of makes sense, right? It's kind of like borrowing from yourself and then paying it back to yourself. Okay. And they say the interest rates would be more favorable but then they do have this counter argument where they say, you know, is this possibly opening up Pandora's box though? Because what you're essentially doing is you're taking money now. And then if you end up spending that money on a beach cruiser and an iPad, like I suggested, you're kind of eliminating or reducing your social safety net in the future. The point of social security is to give you a minimum income after you've worked your whole life. And you're kind of taking that away, which kind of defeats the purpose of social security. Anyway, you know, they end their article by suggesting that idea as well. Are you robbing from Peter to pay Paul? Or is this a bad idea? And they kind of ended off with, what do you think? And unfortunately, they kind of miss the big, most important part of the Washington Post article that they're referring to. Because remember, they started out their article by suggesting the Washington Post reported. Well, Let's take a look at what the Washington Post actually reported so we can see if this has any legs. And either way, I'm so curious to know what your comments are, but I just want to clarify this because this is creating some confusion. And I've had a lot of people ask me already about this, like, Kevin, is this, is this actually going to happen? 
Let's go to the Washington Post. The Washington Post article starts off by suggesting that senior Trump administration officials are growing increasingly wary about the massive federal spending to combat the pandemic, basically, right? And we've heard this plenty of times before. We know that it's very common in the White House now and for Republicans to bring up the idea, hey, we have to be mindful of the debt. We can't just spend willy-nilly. And this is reasonable. This is that tug of war we would expect Congress and the government to have. That's their job. Now, it'd be nice if they could do it a little faster so we could actually finally get some more support here, especially as countries like Germany reopen and they all of a sudden have an extra 600 cases right after they reopen. And all of a sudden we see reports that people who are protesting stay at home orders are all of a sudden also getting sick with the Roni Ronas, which if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see I posted uh, where the Roni comes from. I finally figured it out. <laughs> Check my Instagram story. But anyway, not the Rona, where the Roni comes from, because we know Rona's from Corona, right? <laughs> uh, all right, anyway. So the article continues to say, White House economic officials have also been exploring a proposal floated by these two co uh, conservative scholars. So you can see Forbes almost kind of borrowed that, you know, this, this phraseology here about this floated proposal. Okay, that's fair. But what does Forbes not tell us? Well, unfortunately, and this kind of upsets me because I wish Forbes would have just included this as well because I think this is a straight up way of not providing reality or facts and it's giving people false hope. Look, I'm all for uh, like, hey, look, wow, that's, that's an interesting headline. Like you've piqued my curiosity, but at least let me have all sides of the argument or at least give me some more insight. I'm all for that and anytime I can, I try to do that. And so initially I thought, oh, that's a really good article, Forbes. You know, I must have missed that when I read it the first time a few weeks ago. But no, when I read about this proposal the first time a few weeks ago, I must have not decided to make a video on it because this is what the Washington Post says in their article from yesterday, which is the stuff that had been floating around for weeks now. Senior administration officials have discussed the Eagle Plan, a 29 page memo that calls for an overhaul, blah, 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 basically these upfront payments, but the White House has already rejected it. White House spokesperson Hogan Gigley decried the Eagle Plan and said the president would not support it or any proposal that cuts into benefits. The mere thought of this so-called plan is ludicrous on its face. President Trump has been very clear that while he is in office, the American people can feel secure without a shadow of doubt that he will completely protect Social Security and Medicare. End of story. Full stop. Yikes. I mean, that's that's pretty important information there that should have probably been on the Forbes article. But hey, at least now we have a little bit more insight on this. So if you hear about this borrowing from your Social Security stimulus check idea, I wouldn't put a lot of merit behind it. I'm interested to know if you think it would be a good idea. Me personally, as somebody who loves money, the psychology of money and investing and sharing those ideas with you, because I think that's something we all have in common is learning how to make money and how to invest. You don't have to be left, right, or center to want to grow your wealth. Well, then this is interesting, and I feel like you should know both sides of what this proposal is about. So that's why I wanted to make this video. Hopefully you appreciate that. Remember, today's probably the last day to get your two free stocks with Weeble. So use that link down below. Get those two free stocks with Weeble. And folks, we will see you later. Get that life insurance and check out those programs as well. Thanks, folks. Bye.